of the many dozens of complaints that my office in Maryland has received over the last several weeks has included complaints of students on college campuses who have been uh, threatened, who have been verbally and physically assaulted, who have been threatened to be doxxed, who have um, faced retaliation, who have faced censorship. Zainab Chaudhry, director of the Maryland Council on American Islamic Relations, says there's an unprecedented surge in hate bias across the country and right here in Maryland. 114 incidents and complaints and reports of hate bias were, were made to our office between the period of October 9th to November 9th. She believes due to a fear of reporting, the actual number of incidents is much higher. While a spotlight has been placed on eliminating Hamas, Chaudhry fears there's a loss of humanity for innocent Palestinians. And there's a sense of, well, we need to root out and eliminate Hamas, right? If you have a school shooter inside of a building and you're trying to eliminate the school shooter, you don't bomb the school, right? You don't eradicate all the children in that school to get rid of the school shooter. To address fear and anxiety among Muslim communities, CARE is offering self-defense workshops and bystander intervention trainings beginning this weekend. Especially now and after the tragedy in Vermont, we want students to feel that they can take ownership of their safety to some degree. And there are basic steps that they can take to help make sure that they, they're protected and they're safe. In the meantime, she's calling on lawmakers and others with a platform to condemn attacks on Arab, Muslim and Palestinian Americans. Stop waiting for permission to do the right thing. You have to be a leader in these times, especially when we're seeing an unprecedented rise in hate bias targeting our communities. CARE is hoping to to have these trainings at as many mosques, high schools and colleges as necessary to help students feel secure and uh, empowered to protect themselves in the community. Live from the Inner Harbor, I'm Janine Donaldson for WBAL TV 11 News.